All right, Rapids fans, the last edition for this season of The More You Know, and we're going to the Academy, where I've been able to spend a lot of time here in my new role. And today, I'm gonna share some of the Rapids history and traditions with them, as well as a little bit of my personal journey, uh, which started all the way back when, when I was in their shoes, not too long ago, but a pretty long time ago. So follow me and let's go try to uh, spread some wisdom. Come on. This is a platform, this is a group that I certainly never had the opportunity to do something like this um, in, in my career. When you guys aren't on the field, are y'all soccer players? Yeah. And how often are you on the field? How, how long, how many hours, how many minutes are you on the field each day probably? 90 minutes, two hours? That's 22 hours in a day beyond that where you're not on the soccer field, right? So mentally, if you put yourself in the shoes of a professional soccer player, that's a lot of time where you're not on the field where you've got decisions to make, right? You've got schoolwork to do, you've got food to eat, you've got sleep to get, right? And that was what I thought about 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And I'm not trying to tell you guys this to overwhelm you. That's the mindset that I want you guys to take away from here. Because you all have the skills, the natural abilities, right? The first touch, the passing, the athletic ability, all you guys have that to be a professional soccer player. If you have the desire, the goal, the dreams, the mentality, that's what's gonna separate you from everybody else, right? Because that's what separated me from everybody else. And I do wanna make myself available to you guys, right? And so if there's ever any work you want on the field, after training, during training, while I'm around, off the field, because again, 22 hours a day, you guys are off that soccer field, right? preparing to be professional soccer players. Please don't hesitate to come to me for a bit of support because I wanna see you guys succeed. Because I was in y'all's shoes a pretty long time ago, but, but not too long ago, right? Hungry and, and wanting to make an impact. Listen to everything that your coaches say and your teammates say, but most importantly, be yourselves. If you guys have dreams, goals, and desires to turn professional, there's nothing like it, I promise you that much. But you gotta be hungry and you gotta want it. And you gotta understand, everybody else in the room wants it as well. So it was great to talk to the guys the other day off the field, but now it's time to see what they can do on the field. I'm out here at Rapids Academy training session. It's the first day of the week, so they do kind of a mixed age group training session. Small games, extremely competitive and uh, let's go see uh, what they can do on the field. Let's go. Reactions, reactions, guys. Hey, Grace, reactions if you lose it. Play this ball, Mickey, play this ball. Repress, 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 repress. Good, Peter, good reaction, good reaction. Come on, come on, come on, sharp, 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 sharp. Keep him on the line, Andre. Good, get your body on him. Good, Andre, well done, well done. Go at him, Phil, go at him, go at him, Phil. Good, finish, finish. Oh, what a ball, Maddox. Finish, Maxime. Yes, Maxime, well done, well done. They all want their goal on camera. Yeah, good, like positivity, super competitive. Be sure you carry that energy into the rest of the week in preparation for, for the match, yeah? The smile, the energy, the motivation, right? Pushing each other. Carry that into every exercise that you guys do moving forward this week, yeah? Well done. We are here at Jen and Rob Mathis's house to learn a little bit more about the Colorado Rapids Academy homestay program, Peter Venegas and Andre Erickson of the Rapids under 17 team have joined their family to live here. So come on, on, let's check it out. So let's just get right into it. The homestay program. How did you guys get involved? Kind of just give me a general, what's it about? Because I'm learning tonight as well. We were at a game and we uh, ran into a friend of ours. He had had kids at his house staying with him in the homestay program. He was like, oh, like there's kids that need homes in the in the program, like, because we had just moved to this house really close to stadiums. Like, Would you be interested? We were like, oh, that sounds so neat. We'd love to learn more. And then like the next day we were like having coffee with the people that run it. For us, it's always important to, we're so involved in the community. Yeah. 
you know, we, we support the local schools and everything else. We're like, let's hear more about this. You know, we're season ticket holders. There's kids that are getting recruited out of state. Let's talk about the program. Right. And that's kind of what led to uh, ultimately a couple of kids. Well, you guys are amazing because you have kids of your own, yeah. Zach and Josh, and you guys decided to invite more kids. And, and so Andre and Peter joined you guys. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that kind of relationship building experience with you guys and with your sons as well. We thought it'd be fun to bring in a couple of older kids to have them kind of mature and see the way that these kids act. And, but then in addition to like, what kind of dedication and discipline it takes to, you know, attempt to be a professional. Right. Right. So all of a sudden our kids are getting kind of immersed in the culture a little bit and it's like help, helping them develop as well. So it's been a really nice integration of them joining us. Soccer is not something that I grew up watching. Um, where I'm from doesn't really, there were no professional teams. So um, moving here and living in Central Park and having the stadium right there, it's super fun. It's like family friendly. The stadium's kind of smaller and you see people you know. So we really like going to games. We like being season ticket members um, and it's really become a part of our lives. And we really, um, feel that the Colorado Rapids are kind of the heartbeat of Colorado sports. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We feel like we're also an extension of the Rapids program, right? So we really feel tied into both and being involved in the community is, has been so important for us. And the Rapids uh, through the Homestay program, you know, have really extended that option into the community. So it's really nice because we get an opportunity to get so involved um, from our kids, to the, the new kids that are staying with us, to the other things that we're doing in the community. And then we just feel like we can be an extension of the Rapids into the community. Jen and Rob, thank you so much for joining us. This has been awesome. Let's go put Peter and Andre on the spot. <laughs> see what it's like for them in this house. Meet y'all's boys as well and meet the dogs. Let's yeah. do it. Let's go. All Let's right. go. <laughs> this is my kind of spot right here. That's like my own. That's yours? Peter has his room. Peter gets everything else. Yeah, are you the boss? Nah. No. You're, no. you're just the nice guy, huh? Yeah. He gave me, I was here first and I gave him the room because wow. I didn't know him or anything. So. But you get this whole room. You get a little kitchenette. Well, I got my uh, comfortable bed right here. Yeah. yeah. Always, yeah. always very comfortable. Of course, very uh, comfortably. Then, um, got our uh, closet. I hear there's like a ping pong table yeah. and yeah. yeah. Y'all want to show me? Yeah. We'll play the three. Or one. <laughs> it's the ball, I'm telling you. All right, you win. <laughs> little pull-up competition. Yeah, pull-up competition. Yeah, this is definitely a, a good dude's basement down here. I like it. As an elite player development coach, I spend a lot of time around the academy program and players. Whether it's giving them insight into the game or out at training leading drills, I love having a front row seat to the beginning of our players' careers. The goal of the Homestay program is to grow and develop young men to excel on and off the field. Peter and Andre are both from out of state and have made the Mathis family their home away from home as they navigate through the academy. It was great to spend some time with them and to be able to see what it's like for both players and hosts in the program. Still not sure about that ping pong ball. Until next time, Rapids fans.